So, hello again, YouTube and the internet from the Ergon Design Cave. What I have here is my my first PCB Ergon frame that I made. It uses 3D printed trigger housing with Crossman trigger parts. Can't remember the exact model, but yeah. Anyways, the main tube is 316, 316th stainless steel. Then we have 7075 T6, maybe, or 6082. I can't remember. But anyways, aluminium bottle adapter that takes normal paint ball bottle or CO2 bottle needs to be regulated to 850 to 1000 bar. That's the max pressure I have tested this to. So it's been tested to 2000 psi. This has been done way back when. It's the first one that I made. 2010, 12, somewhere, somewhere around that. But yeah, this is a this is actually a pretty fun gun to shoot from 7, 7 to 20 joules depending on the tune of the gun. And then there's just a buttstock that I aligned with some foam. This is made from stainless steel tubing. Just something that I had in hand. And then there's the Then there's the preach and pusher. Let me see if I can cover it with one. In this I have three stage Crossman hammer, but you can only use the first stage, or you need to load the pellet and then decock it, pressing the trigger. Oh my God, this is this is so hard with one hand. Sorry, and then. When it's loaded, you cock it with into the first stage, or second, or third, and then you fire. But anyways, this is something I want to share with people. You can take an old, I would say, brake barrel, barrel, and make a PCB gun. This is very simple. You can use a lathe with a milling attachment or if you're very adventurous you can use drill press with a good vise and files, hacksaw, angle grinder, whatever. You can make the, all the parts. It's very simple. And here's the cutaway of the, of the gun. And there's Crossman trigger and the sear plate. It's just modeled in here and the Crossman hammer. And then there's valve block. This is made from aluminium. It bolts from below with one bolt and then it is secured with this steel sleeve that is also the transfer port sleeve. And then there's o-ring to seal the valve from the body and another o-ring to seal the bottle block. And here's a plunger. You're going to put an M8 screw here so that it can open the open the paintball valve. But yeah. I made some upgrades to this from the previous let's see if I can turn it and take the analysis off. Um, the main block is now with three screws. The two screws are okay, but I wanted to add one more screw just for the security. And then the valve block is with two screws from on here instead of one, because that is more easier to do. And then the loading port is not affected by by the one bolt
and the barrel is just with two crop screws yeah but anyways this is the design and you can find find this design on patreon 15 euros i think it's not a lot if you are interested in building one of these this is true true and tested design and you need a macball or something other ar15 style pistol grip for this and you need 3d printer or a friend with a 3d printer then you can print the pistol grip and uh, and the parts for the for the trigger but everything else you need a lathe or a mill or both i prefer both because it's easier to work with work with those but yeah if you have any questions comments and ideas for what you want to see put them down below and subscribe if you're new and if you want to support the channel go to patreon become a member or if you just want the design you can buy it from the patreon shop it's just 15 bucks oh 15 euros but yeah but yeah you stay safe and have a nice day bye